we've got two problems here, and they're both about graphing inequalities with just one variable. The first one, 8y is less than or equal to 48, and the second one, x minus 1 is greater than 2. So the first step in graphing an inequality like this is to make sure it's solved for the variable, uh, and then we'll move on to graphing. So let me solve the first one here. We've got 8y is uh, less than or equal to 48. I'm going to divide both sides by 8, and I get y is less than or equal to 6. We'll do the same thing for our second problem here. I'm going to add 1 to both sides, and I get x is greater than 3. Our first equation was y is less than or equal to 6. If we were to graph the line y equals 6, it would be a straight line where y is 6, so straight across from left to right at 6. If we want to graph y is less than or equal to 6, it's going to be all the points underneath that line plus the line itself. And that would end up looking like this. A shaded area all under the y equals 6 line. We can do the same thing for our x is greater than 3. If I were to plot x equals 3, it would look like that, a straight up and down line on 3, where x equals 3. If x is greater than 3, it's going to be all the points to the right of that line. And in this case, uh, we don't include the line. So when you're drawing that on your graphs, typically you do that as a dashed line. This graphing program doesn't do that. x is greater than 3, shaded area, all the points to the right, because that's where x is greater. So that's how you solve and graph inequalities in one variable.